Welcome to process mining animation using BPM1. In under 10 minutes I'll show you the kind of animations you can create using the BPM1 tool suite by Palace Athena. So let's take a closer look at the animation that's been created by the process mining. Uh, first of all you have the, the process model and the process model consists of activities and they're all connected in ways that were actually found of activities that were found to be connected in a log file. Uh, it starts all with the this first activity, and you know it's the first activity because it has the two little green dots uh, in the activity object. In the same token, you can find the last activity, the final one, by the two little red dots on the bottom of the activity object. So if we start at the top, register invoice, we also notice a little line to the side here, to the right of the object. Here, one, This one's almost like a little line, not a real block, but it uh, represents how often this activity is performed and how long it took to perform this activity so the actual processing time. The width is how often it's performed and the height is how long it took and those times are relative. So if I look at another one like check invoice you can see it's a rather short line so it wasn't performed for all the, activi for all the invoices and it also didn't take very long as opposed to for example request information performed for more invoices and it took an, yeah, an average amount of time. So if you look at the authorized invoice then you see that it's the, the little block is the height of the whole activity so it means that's the activity that actually took the longest in the whole process model. And again these times are relative so that's all yeah, compared to each other. But again the block is not that wide so it wasn't performed for all the invoices. If you look at the close case again, that's a wide one, which makes sense. That's performed for all the invoices. Now, if I look at the actual animation, you'll see the little blue balls start to flow through the process model. Every blue ball represents one invoice going through the process. Some of them are going quick, some of them move slowly. Uh, and those are times that are actually taken from the log file. So those are it's basically a visual representation of what happened during this time period and the time period you can actually see here in the lower right those are the that's the date and the time as recorded in the log file uh, if wait a while you can actually see that there's some bottlenecks growing here and bottlenecks though there's big queues of little blue balls so apparently it takes a while before we can, in this case can go from deadline alert to authorize invoice or from request information to authorize inv invoice in either case Authorized invoice seems to be a, a bottleneck. Um, yeah, there might be a very good explanation for that. Maybe only certain people are authorized to perform that step. So let's take the the uh, analysis one step further. We can do that using the BPM1 process mining module. This module allows us to do uh, mining of additional parameters that might be available in the log file. In this case, the dollar amount of the invoice, and that's divided into categories from 0 to 500, 500 to 1500, 1500 to 5000, 5000 to 15000, and 15000 to 50000. Uh, if we start the animation, you see it starts at 0 with the number of cases flowing through, and it also keeps track of the average throughput time. Uh, you can see it sort of keeps moving because these are, yeah, throughput times based on the number of cases that have gone through the process so far. Uh, it's interesting to note that actually the, here there's a big jump suddenly. Apparently there was one particular invoice in this category that took a very long time to process. But you also note that actually in that category, that high category, uh, there's a very few invoices going through the process. There's only uh, about 70 so far as opposed to almost 2,000 in the lower uh, range invoices. Uh, if we actually stop the animation for a minute, we can try to see if there's a yeah if there's a bottleneck for certain categories. But if you look at the you see all kinds of colors balls here, so it means that it's not just one amount category causing the bottleneck. For example, if we were just seeing red balls here, that would mean that in this category amount five thousand to fifteen thousand, there might be a problem problem authorizing the invoices. But that's not the case, it's just in general for all the invoices that there's a bottleneck and authorized invoice. Uh, we move on 
and look at it a different way. Uh, now we've not looked at the amount that the invoice is, but who's actually doing, performing the process, who's handling the invoice. In this case we have five employees, A through E, and we'll see what they're doing. Uh, again, quickly notice that certain employees are handling a lot more invoices than others, especially employee A jumps out, only handled you know, the lower teen numbers of, of invoices as opposed to employee C who's in the hundreds. So that that's peculiar. And also if you look at the bottom here, well that sort of you know, goes all over the place, but if we jump ahead a little bit, we'll see on average that employee A, who's handling the, the least amount of invoices, is actually taking the longest time to process them. Might have something to do with experience. Uh, can't tell that from this mining, but it might be interesting then to go ahead and ask more questions. What's the case with employee A? Maybe employee A only works part-time, or maybe employee A is actually involved in different processes and it's not the person's real job. You don't know. But what you do know is there's something to go ahead and deep digger, deep dig deeper, sorry, <laughs> because you know that, that you can see that the processing time is, yeah, a lot longer comparatively than the other employees. So if we look at a different way how the different employees work together, we can do a social network mining. In this process model, we don't show the individual activities that are involved, but how work is flowing from one employee to the next. Uh, all the employees are represented here and you can see by the lines how work might possibly flow from uh, from employee D to employee A and then to C or to B. And you also notice that apparently there's never work flowing from C to D or from D to E. So that yeah, might be interesting to figure out why that is too. If we start, over the, anima start the animation uh, You'll see we have divided again by the dollar amount. Might be interesting to find out if certain employees only handle certain categories of invoices. So we jump ahead, see if we can notice that certain colors are handled by certain people, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. Again, we do notice that employee A, very narrow little object here, little line, means not performed that often, not that many times. Employee A doesn't handle that many invoices, but invoices that are handled by employee A, it takes a very long time to handle them, to perform the, the activities. As opposed to, for example, employee this one here, down here, can't even see what the letter is anymore, it's employee C, who performs a lot of activities, perform, handles a lot of invoices, and does that rather quick. You can also see here employee E doesn't handle that many invoices, but does them fairly well, fairly quickly. Uh, another way to look at social network mining, uh, now divided up again by employee. If we look at again, we'll notice that uh, all the work that's from all the employees is actually always flowing to employee A or employee B. We could already notice that by how the lines, how the objects are connected. Uh, Again, in this case, there's a simple explanation for that. Only employee A or employee B are authorized to do the authorized invoice activity. So only those two people can authorize the invoices. So that's why you always see, for example, from employee D, all the little green balls, there's a big flow of green balls to employee A or through employee B to authorize the invoices, and then they'll flow back. Uh, but what you do notice is that they're actually flowing to the employee A's and B's is slow and coming back you won't even notice they're that quick. So apparently that that's where the bottleneck is and the simple answer to this possible bottleneck would be well maybe we can make employee A a little bit more available if she's really or if that person's really part-time let's see if we can scale up the amount of time that she's available. So I hope this demo gave you an idea of the possibilities of process mining and in particular the animation capabilities of BPM1 design and the additional process mining module that were used to create these animations. Thank you for watching.